In recent years, architecture has moved far ahead, and as a result of this, people are building more and more unusual houses and hotels to stick out from the crowd as much as possible. So with that said, here are our picks for five of the most unusual houses and hotels located all around the world. Forget gliding down a red carpet the next time you treat yourself to a luxury stay. You may find yourself shimmying down rungs nailed into a cliffside or climbing up a staircase wrapped around a tree trunk. Welcome to the global boom in extreme accommodation. The canniest operators know that the more out of there the concept, the easier it is to attract the attention of consumers. These are powerful marketing gimmicks, says Lundgren. Keep it right, and you don't need a marketing budget. Word of mouth and social media will do the work for you. That doesn't mean that these eccentric accommodations are an easy option for operators. Design Hotels Yunu Park Vice President Asia Pacific says that not only do these properties still need to deliver quality experiences and service, the construction challenges can also be formidable. Suspended jungle pods need adequate insulation and ventilation, Underwater accommodation requires pressure-resilient glass and smart illumination, and luxury tents must feel, well, luxurious in extreme climates, he says. It requires genuine passion from the patron and his team to make that happen. So are you ready to check out or check into the outside the square hotel and resort room experience? Here is our pick of some of the most memorable examples from around the globe. No longer content with checking into a luxury suite, today's been there, done that travelers looking for something more memorable, an underwater villa, perhaps, or a glass igloo. It's not enough to stay at a five-star hotel anymore, says Michael Lundgren, managing director of Asia Pacific, a global network of luxury travel advisors. These products are capturing people's imagination. They're structuring their entire trip around these experiences. Sky Sphere House. Jonah Williams is a mild mannered graphic designer by day and unabashed dreamer by night. He just completed work on the Sky Sphere Tiny House, a tower of steel and glass that overlooks the rolling hills of New Zealand. It started as an ambitious design concept but became real the moment Williams ordered four tons of steel from China. $75,000 later, the Sky Sphere is complete. Instantly, one of the most imaginative and unusual tiny houses ever built. The boom is being accelerated by the demand for back-to-nature experiences. In remote areas without traditional infrastructure, erecting a bubble dome or floating platform not only offers a quicker, lower-impact alternative to a traditional hotel, it also gives guests a more direct experience to the environment. Folks like me want to rewild. They want to leave the mainstream of the city behind and listen to the waterfall instead, says Bill. Known for creating some of Asia's most indulgent resorts, Bensley's most recent designs include tree-shrouded luxury tented camps in Cambodia and Bali that were inspired by his childhood camping holidays. I enjoy making luxury camps so I can share the love and joy that I had as a wee bloke. Boeing 727 Home Most people might dread spending their entire lives on an airplane, but not Bruce Campbell. That's because his airplane, which stays on the ground, is his home. Old airplane parts turned into sleek new furniture is nothing new, but what about turning an entire airplane into a home in the woods? Based outside of Portland, Oregon, Bruce Campbell is an engineer who converted this retired Boeing 727 commercial airliner into a fully functioning home with electricity and running water on a wooded suburban lot he bought during his younger days. Calling it a used multi-million dollar aerospace quality home, Campbell gives his reasons as to why recycled airliners can be superior candidates for conversion into domestic places. When properly executed, the remarkable appeal of a retired jetliner as a home springs from the magnificent technology and beauty of the sculptured structure itself. Jetliners are masterful works of aerospace science, and their superlative engineering grace is unmatched by any other structures people can live within. They're incredibly strong, durable, and long-lived, and they can easily withstand any earthquake or storm. 
Their interior is easy to keep immaculately clean because they are sealed pressure canisters, so dust and insects can intrude from the outside, and they're quite secure. When all the doors are closed and locked, they're highly resistant to intruders, so the human hearts inside feel wonderfully safe and comfortable. And their interiors are exceptionally modern and refined and provide a wealth of unique amenities, superb lighting and climate control, and overwhelming storage space. Once the rows of seats are removed, their profound appeal as a living room environment becomes immediately obvious. Campbell bought the plane for about $100,000 back in 1999. With renovations and other expenses, the total project cost is estimated to be about $220,000. To be suitable for transportation over land from one place to another, the wings and tail of the plane had to be removed temporarily. Campbell tackles a lot of details in his FAQ and gives information to those who want to do the same thing too and how to avoid being scammed. With the Aircraft Fleet Recycling Association estimating that there will be over 500 aircraft retired each year over the next two decades. There's a lot of airliners that could be transformed into excellent homes. Campbell envisions that this surplus could become actual commodities if more people jump on board with this idea. To visualize its scale and style, imagine that the expansive green land area adjacent to that airstrip was developed into numerous individual plots for wide-body aircraft homes, perhaps 100 or more spectacular jetliner homes, each on its own 3- to 5-acre plot. Such projects would conserve a superb human resource and at the same time create truly unique and scintillating communities of aerospace-class homes. They to represent the proper evolution of aircraft boneyards, whose time should have passed long time ago into the beautiful jetliner home communities whose time is long, long overdue. I hope to at least witness such a project within my lifetime. Nothing compares to the exhilaration and satisfaction provided by an aerospace class home, and many people understand this instinctively, Campbell said on his website. It's a great toy, Campbell says about his airplane home. Trick doors, trick floors, hatches here, hatches there, clever gadgets everywhere. Campbell's now planning to transform another plane into a home, but over in Japan. Underwater hotel. The, the stay, the phrase, sleeping with the fishes, gets a whole new meaning at the Maraca, the premium residence at the Conrad Maldives Island Resort. This exclusive two-level, three-bedroom villa is partly above the waves and partly beneath them. With an underwater bedroom and living space where you can lie back and watch the wonders of the oceanic world. The shape of the sky sphere tiny house resembles a water tower, but this is not some sort of repurposed facility. Williams designed this structure from scratch, then built it on his own from base to tip. Began with an excavation and was embedded frame support, then took shape when the shipment of steel arrived. In total, 3,000 hours of design and construction work were needed to complete the Sky Sphere. The design and construction of the Sky Sphere is only half the story. Williams' experience in graphic design and engineering led him to tinker with the Android operating system to control and automate the structure. Everything from lighting to climate control to music and entertainment are controlled over the Android OS. Even the doors can be locked and unlocked with a mobile device. And on a whim, Williams can set the mood with whatever lighting scheme he desires. Ultimately, the smart features of the SkySphere and the OS that powers it should be fully sourced to on-site solar panels. The home's now livable, but it's using grid power, and that's something Williams wishes to change. By day, Pemba Island has some excellent dive sites for guests to discover, including some deep ones where Napoleon Rouse fish, potato grouper, cabrera snapper, turtles, and white tip sharks are all likely spots. But the underwater room really comes into its own at night as spotlights set up all sides of the structure attract shy ocean dwellers to come a little closer. For a change of scene, guests can climb a ladder to the top of their offshore retreat to lie on the double day bed and watch the stars, discover secrets of the world's most remote oceans.
Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.